to the Apostle Deanna Dixon. Come on in here. Praise God. Give him glory. I say give him honor and give him glory. If you see my title, my title is day six, becoming better and not bitter. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Give him some praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Praise God. Praise God. All right. So actually, I'm going to wait till you guys get in here, and then I'm going to start with the scripture. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. How you doing, Miss Bailey? How you doing? Praise God. Go ahead, tag and share for me, please, if you don't mind. I really appreciate you. Hallelujah. Okay, we're going to get right into it, too. We're going to get straight right into it. Wait till some people come up in here. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Let me tell y'all something. This fast is exposing everything and everybody. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of God. And I ain't even start on here. Can I tell y'all something? Can I just testify? Hallelujah. Can I just testify? I'm not even hungry. I'm not kidding. I'm forcing myself to eat. And hold on. We're talking about something like I had to force myself not even an hour ago to eat an apple. I didn't eat till like maybe six o'clock or something like that. And you got to understand what's happening. I'm not trying to brag. I'm trying to tell you something. When you are feeding the spirit, the spirit becomes heavy and heavy and it'll shut down your flesh. Come on, somebody. It'll be like you have to remind yourself. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't eat or something like that. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. On this fast, I pray that you're praying like never before. But I don't know about you. This is not just about getting financial blessings, prosperity, healing, deliverance. This is about everything that everything that God have ever talked to you about. Oh, come on, somebody. We don't have a whole lot of time like you think. So whatever God have told you, it is time for you to get in position, God says. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. And I'm telling you right now, it's going to cost you everything. It's going to cost you. You might have to stay up late. You might have to read more. You might have to pray more. You might have to do this. You might have to do that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. People want the anointing. They want the benefits of the kingdom, but they don't want to do. Oh, baby, let me tell you something. The true anointing costs. I'm going to say it again. The true anointing costs. Oh, I'm about to bust somebody in the head in the spirit. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Thing. You see them people playing up on here? That's why they have an extra, extra energy. When it's truly uh, the authentic of power of God, it'll wear you out. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't. Ooh, I'm going here tonight. Hallelujah. I don't care who get mad. I don't see how they can do two, three hour lives. Even an hour, truth be told. Oh, Y'all ain't ready for me. The true power of God wears out the flesh. What you talking about? Hallelujah. I'm talking about the true authentic. I ain't worried about that. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So let me go ahead and give you the scripture that God gave me. Hallelujah. Okay. I'm so glad I got this. Uh, I got this pen. You, it lights up. Y'all see it? It's cute. It lights up. I know, right? You know, when you write a light, you like pens. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me get to the scripture. The scripture is from James 119. And it says, and I'm sure y'all understand this one. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, I need y'all to hear me because God really spoke the scripture. Let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. I'm a, I have to read that again. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear. That means listen before you speak. Sometimes we speak too abruptly. Come on, somebody. And he says, slow to speak. Just, 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 just too much, too much. And then he says, and slow to wrath. Oh, come on, somebody. That is the word of God. Hallelujah for the people of God. Let me tell you something. My title is we're supposed to get better and not bitter. When you are in this life, especially as a Christian, the Bible says you will have much tribulation. He said, but I have survived. I have overcame the world. You should do it too. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. The only way that you can truly do this as an authentic Christian is you will have to pray. You're going to have to fast. You're going to have to be humble. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and tell you what God says. Let me write. I got everything written down. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. So God said you got to get better, not bitter. And I'm going to go ahead and give an example of each one. Praise God. Praise God. He says you will have to push through the pain, the tests, the trials, the tribulations with tears in your eyes. Some people don't want to go through anything. Let me tell you something. I'm 51 and I say my age on purpose because I know I'm not supposed to be here. But thank you for the grace and the glory of God. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Anything that's worthwhile, you're going to have to go through something. Oh, it doesn't matter if it's a degree, if it's a ministry license, an authentic one, not one off the internet. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You're going to have to go through something. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to cost you everything. If you are authentic. Most people don't want to go through nothing. You know, I talked about it last time I was on here. Most people are playing with God 
I'm going to tell you, the Bible says it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God. He is still the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Have you really read that Bible, what he can do? He can withdraw his breath and we all would die. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That's the power of God, the fire of God. Let me tell you something. Most people are not operating in the power of God because if it was, we'd see more revival, more healings, more deliverance. I'm talking about true stuff. Anytime you can walk in a place and you don't feel the power of God, oh, can I take you on a journey? Walk with me. Walk with me. Do you remember? Because I remember. Do you remember when we used to walk in church? And as soon as you walk in church, if you was chewing gum, you t- you'd take out your gun, you'd be like, I feel the power of God. Uh, uh, you, you didn't have to say that. You just felt something. Because that was the anointing of God. Back in the day, the churches had the true anointing of God. They don't have that no more. Hold on. It's just a building. So it wasn't the church, it was the people. They were more pure. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me tell you something. And I say this all the time, and I know people don't like it, but I'm going to say it anyway. Those people in the Bible, they were stronger than we are. Oh, yes, they were. They were stronger. They didn't have cars. They walked. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. The children of Israel went, what, 40 years in the same clothing, and they never wore out the same shoes, never wore out. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. They were stronger, but yet they had one thing that we have today. They murmured and complained. God says there should not be too many people murmuring and complaining. Be thankful. Oh, hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Be thankful. You got food? Be thankful. You got a place to lay your head? Be thankful. You got clothes? Be thankful. Oh, come on, somebody. You got somebody that says, I love you? Be thankful. It is the little things that people are taking for granted. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't know why God made me go there. Number two, you will have to learn to be humble. Be humble when God bless you. I'm going to tell you the truth. Too many people, when God bless them, they get beside themselves. Oh, I'm going somewhere. Some of you might not like where I'm going tonight, but I'm going here. Like certain gospel artists. God had blessed them. Then they started collaborating with unsaved people. I don't care what you say. I, 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 I talk scripture. I talk biblical application. The Bible says don't join the world. The Bible says that friendship with the world is intimate with God, which means that it's an intimate our enemy. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You can get mad all day long. We are supposed to be separated. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. But you got too many people straddling the fence. And the sad part is we don't have a whole lot of people that are walking authentic to teach you how to walk authentic. Is this hard? Heck yeah, this is hard. Will you be talked about? Yes. Will people lie on you? Yes. Will it hurt? Yes. Will you want to give up? Yes. Will you want to stop? Yes. Hallelujah. You'll be, you'll be crying some nights like, God, why? And then sometimes I hear because I went through it first, Deanna. Hallelujah. And, and, and I left your whole book how to do it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Okay, number three. And he, wait a minute. I got to stay on that subject. You got to be humble. God does not promote arrogance. When you see people arrogant, that's somebody that haven't been through nothing for real. Because people that really been through something, you know not to be acting ugly because you didn't been through something yourself. Treat people kind and respect. It doesn't, let me tell you something. I see so many people talking ugly to people. That does not show your strength. That's actually show your weaknesses. Love that brother and sister. They may not be where you're at, but give them the same satisfaction, the same, the same grace, the same mercy that God gives you every day. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Be thankful, be kind, be mindful. Because I'm going to tell you right now, all it takes is one thing for God to allow one thing. And you'll be in a situation where you never thought. Hallelujah. So you better be humble. Learn to treat people with respect. Too many people in the body of Christ don't know how to talk to nobody. And then y'all be lying on Facebook. Y'all just be lying. Y'all need to stop that lying spirit. Trying to collaborate with people just so you can get a, a, a oh yeah, I'm saying it just so you can get some, some likes. What? You, let me tell you something. If you have the anointing of God, you ain't got to do, do all that. You ain't got to do all that. This is not entertainment for real. This is real. And let me tell you something, because I don't know who this is, and maybe you know somebody that's doing this. When you get up on here, don't think it's just, oh, this is just Facebook Live. God is holding you just as if you are to an altar, because anytime souls come on somebody that you minister to souls, God holds you accountable. So you see all those people playing, pimping, simping, doing all that stuff? Woe unto you, said the Lord. Woe unto you. Lying for money, lying for this. I mean, it's praise God. He going to handle that. Hallelujah. Then he says, you will have to forgive everyone and everything. Ooh, 
lost half of you right there. Hold on. He said, this is a hard one. People hold grudges and they have hate in their heart. Can I tell you something? I have been through. What a life. What a life. I, so much stuff that I ain't going to lie. You ever been through so much and people think you're lying, but you're really telling the truth? <laughs> I had to forgive everybody and everything. But every time I tried to hold on, God said, I can't use you like that, Deanna. He said, because I'm going to need you pure so you can hear me. So you know when to minister, when to stop, when to talk. When they lay hands. How can God effectively use you and you hating somebody? Are you holding unforgiveness in your heart, bitterness? Come on, somebody. God forgives us every day. He throws into the sea of forgiveness. Forgive. You don't have to fool with them again if God didn't tell you to. But you have to learn how to forgive your brothers. I, I know some people personally. Ooh, they hate me. Ooh, and I ain't even holiday nothing. I'm going to tell you what I do. I tell the truth. And people don't like the truth. But if I tell it to myself, you think I won't tell it to you? Yeah, I say it. The same way I live is the same way I talk. And I walk. Meaning that this ain't no game. I live this life. As anybody that personally know me, I live this life. And if I do something, oh, I'm, I'm going here tonight, hallelujah. If I do something that's not of God, I'll come up here and tell you myself. I ain't got to hide, lie, or nothing. Look, I, I messed up, y'all. Forgive me. I, I ain't finna try to make no excuse or nothing. God is not God. God does not like a liar. God does not like people that hide. No, no, no. That's what's wrong with the body of Christ. You acting like you ain't never did nothing. We all didn't did something. We all fall short of the glory of God. Be a man. You're a man when you did it. You're a woman when you did what you did. How you did when you did it. We gotta learn. That's why these kids don't know how to tell the truth and confess. And even the people that are growing up in the church, they don't know how to be real anymore because everybody faking and lying, talking about um fake it till you make it. I never like that saying. Because what are you faking? And you ain't making nothing but a fool out of yourself and, 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 and just yourself. Because what I learned when I was playing back in the day, everybody know the truth but you. You the only one think you hiding everything and everybody else just like, mm-hmm, we see you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All right, let me continue. Learn to forgive. I know it's a hard thing. I know people can really hurt you. I'm talking about, woo, make you want to snap back. Oh, or better yet, how I used to say it, make you want to snap necks and write checks. Because <laughs> you're going to need one for a bond, right? With our rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You have to learn to forgive, though. Because we have all done things that may have not been right or sound right or whatever the case may be. You got to be real. The same grace and the same mercy that God gives you. Extend to others. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You will have to repent daily. It could be a thought. You, ooh, that person, blah, blah, blah. It could be a sexual thought. Oh, he fine or she fine. I would love to blah, 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 blah. Don't act like you ain't human. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all know men if you see Big Booty Trudy. And women, you know when you see somebody cut, play crazy if you want to. All those things are thoughts. and got to bring those under, under subjection. Because I promise you, they'll form something which is called lust. So every time, every day, God forgive me. For what I've said, knowingly and unknowingly, forgive me, God. All God wants is your best people. You don't have to be perfect because as long as you're in this flesh, ooh, honey, it's a mess. A mess, straight up. All God wants is your best. All God wants is the truth. He wants you to be real with you. Because if you're not real with you, you cannot be real with others. And too many people, when I was in California, they had so many people, everybody wanted to be a star. So I didn't know if there was an actor or an actress for real. Y'all get what I'm saying? In the body of Christ, there's too many actresses and actors. Nobody knows if you're real. Yet, if you have the Spirit of God, you can tell them. I don't care how good they preach, how good they teach. If it ain't biblical and your spirit is not right. Cause, and, and you'll know cause something to be off. You'll be like, something ain't right. You're right. Something that's not right. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Then he says, in order to be anointed, you must stay untainted. Woo! That's a hard one, y'all. The enemy is always trying to get you. He be looking. How can I get in? Mm, they like this. Or they like that. Or they drink a little wine. Or they smoke a little this. Or they do. And they will always set you up. I mean, why y'all think people get exposed? The enemy is the, he's the best setter upper. You gotta make a word. He will set you up so cool to make your head spin. Sooner or later. So be mindful of the things that you do and say, especially if you're in ministry. Or even just being a child, a woman, a man, a boy, young boy. 
If you're in Christ, be mindful. People are always watching. Oh, come on. They are always watching. Trust me on that. You know, I'm going to make y'all laugh. You ever peeped outside and you ain't see nobody? I, I learned a long time ago. Just because you don't see them, don't mean they ain't peeping. Mm-hmm, ain't nothing going on down the street. Oh, 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 wait a minute. She got a white car at the house. Oh, wait, wait a minute. And, and you be thinking that you slick by 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, you trying to do your dirt. They are, mm, you see? Yeah, I see. You don't act like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. People are always watching. And it's not about even people watching. Learn to live a decent and respectful life, especially if you say you a Christian. I better yet, I like to say saints because Christians are messed it up. <laughs> really. Got people looking at us side-eyed. You know, come on, man. Come on. Be real. Christ is in that Christian, you know. Be Christ-like. All right. Then he says, you must walk in obedience. Now, that's another one, too. Most people don't want to walk in obedience. You know how when we were in the world, we used to look for a shortcut. Oh, man. You know, always always had some kind of game going on. Always had something going on. Y'all know what I'm saying. You can't do this in the body of Christ. You will be exposed real quick. Come on, somebody. Even if God give you a chance, I told y'all last time, God will allow you to repent privately before he exposed you publicly. That stuff is real. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Also, people who are spirit-filled can see through you. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you see me clear? Quit lying. People see. Even through Facebook. Don't y'all know my spirit? Most of you can, if you are spirit-filled, you know I'm real. I, hey, I'm not perfect. Never said I was. But what you see is what you get. Too many people are living one way and talking another. And, oh, my God, it's making people fall. Because then when you do do something and they get exposed, then they, they feel bad. They're like, wait a minute. Was well, something wrong with me? Because I was following them. That's why you got to test the spirit by the spirit. And you got to be strong in this hour. You got to be strong in this hour. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to be strong. Praise God. And I'm going to tell you, God told me to write something. Don't get upset when people support you privately because they can't do it publicly because they talked about you. Ooh, y'all ready for that one? How many of your friends talk about you like a dog, but they'll call you, hey, girl, or, or even a guy, hey, man, how you doing? And yet they didn't already put their mouth on you. Y'all better stop doing that to people. So then you can't support them publicly because of what you said privately. And somebody be like, but wait a minute, what you just talking about them? Let me tell you something. Hallelujah. Let me put this thing down. You going to have to be strong in the Lord as a Christian, as a saint this day, this hour. You're going to have to push through everything. You're going to have to push through the naysayers. You're going to have to have tunnel vision. I keep saying that tunnel vision. Let me tell you something. You don't let nobody stop you from the left and the right. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Know that God is with you. You got to be strong. You know how you were strong out there in the world? You got to be stronger as a Christian. Oh, come on, somebody. You got to walk it, talk it, live it, breathe it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You know what God have told you. Everything that God have told you, all you got to do is believe it and receive it because the Bible says that you won't believe, you won't receive anything anything unless you truly believe what God says. And remember, all you need is one person. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. All you need is one person, one person to touch and agree. The Bible says any two shall touch and agree. You just need one person. Y'all sitting up there asking everybody to pray for y'all. I ask you sometimes, but for the real stuff, I'm only asking people that I, oh, let me tell y'all something. And let me see if I can say this because I have a couple of prayers partner and I ain't going to say no name so I can say it. One of them is a virgin. Y'all ain't ready for me. Ooh, I'm about to give y'all some secrets up in here. The keys to the kingdom. Hallelujah. Virgins can pray and get in places that we can't. Yeah, I said it. That's why the devil want them. I mean, when I get them to pray, woo, and we come into agreement, you better back off. <laughs> Hallelujah to his name. I'm telling y'all something. I'm telling y'all something. I'm telling y'all something. Hallelujah. This stuff real. You are even a pure person. A person that's pure, that you know, walk it, talk it, live it, breathe it. Your prayers will be answered just like that. Or even time. That's all right. God going to still do it. Come on, somebody. Just believe him and receive it. You need strong prayer partners. I don't know who this for. Stop playing with them jelly back people that don't have your back. I don't know who this for, but hallelujah, you pulling on me. You got to understand everybody. Ooh, I hear you, God. There's dream killers. Y'all be telling everybody, and they be your best friends, because remember, I told you, they close cuts. You ain't going to tell a stranger all your business. Be careful who you're talking to, God says, because that's the same person cutting you. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. 
praise God, praise God. I want to actually do some affirmations with you guys tonight as well. So today is day six, you guys. We got woo, 34 more days. We could do this. We got this. We got this. We got this. All right. Praise God, praise God. Okay, so go ahead, stretch your hands, please. Hallelujah. Say, I am blessed coming in and blessed going out. You are God's servant and you take pleasure. God takes pleasure in your prosperity. Jesus became poor through your poverty that he can, that you might be rich. Praise God. You meditate on the word day and night and whatever you do prosper. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Let peace be within your walls and pro prosper. I'm sorry. Prosperity within your palace. God will prosper you through the prophets and the prophetic ministry. Hallelujah. Through two, two prophets will you have the prophet's reward. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. Hold on. Over them right now. I pray, Father God, I touch and agree. If it is your will, whatever is going on with their life, Father God. Father God, every every root worker, every witch, every plant, every assignment that comes against your children. Right now, I terminate it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost fire, fire of God, burn it up, burn up every assignment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, I thank you, God. We give you honor and we give you praise. I plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus comes through those veins. The blood of Jesus comes through this life. The blood of Jesus heals. The blood of Jesus delivers. The blood of Jesus promotes. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is running through our veins. They can't stop us, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to his name. Oh, Father God, I seal this prayer with the precious blood of the Lamb by saying, Amen, Amen, Amen. You know what I noticed just now, by the way? When I start praying, the numbers go down. Mm, hallelujah. I know. I'm going to tell you why. Because you got some witches and warlocks that be on here. But honey, oh, they can't stop the power of God. They got to get off. Oh, I noticed that. I said, wait a minute. I, I, that's why I had my eyes open for a minute. Because y'all know I like to pray with my eyes closed. Because, you know, let me tell y'all something about prayer. When I pray, and this is a secret to the kingdom as well. I'm going to give y'all some keys to the kingdom. I'm telling you, go change your life. Use them. When I, when I close my eyes, I imagine myself before the throne of God because that's what it is. Your prayers are before the throne of God. God, keep me. God, I repent, Father God. God, show me. God, teach me. God, purify me. God, cleanse me. God, save me. God, heal me. You're right before the throne of God. You see, thank you, Lord. I hear you. We got to. This is why the world can't receive Jesus right now. Because people are not showing the power. There's power in his name for real. There's power in his blood. There's power with the anointing. There's power. There's too many people faking. So they need, God need real people to show his power. No, no, we're not that great. We sin, we mess up. But the power, hallelujah, is still real. Hallelujah to his name. He's still alive. They thought they killed him. Hallelujah. But he's still alive. He, he's so real. They don't like his name. Even not in gospel music today. I said it. They, they, it's so real. They don't like us saying his name. I say Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Can't stop me. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. So God bless you. Whew. God keep you. And y'all got to be strong. I know it's hard. Oh, the warfare sometimes gets so hard to bring you to your knees. Make you cry in a fetal position at night. But boy, let me tell you what God told me. He said, but I got something for you. I ain't talking about on this earth. I'm sorry. I know y'all thought that, huh? I'm talking about a crown. He said, I got a crown. Hallelujah. I got a crown for those that press through. I got a crown for those that finish the race. I got a crown for those that... Uh, this, hallelujah. Say it. Say it, God. Hallelujah. Endure. He said, I got a crown. He never said it was going to be easy. If that's what you're looking for, I'm, I, I'm here to tell you it's not. Oh, it's hard. Family will turn on your friends will turn on you. I mean, man, and you can't even get mad. You got to just say, God, I forgive them. Or better yet, like my little sister was telling me, and I love all my family. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. And just love them. You know, I used to always say this. I'm going to start back saying it. Love people back to life. That's what God did us. L love people back to life. No, they ain't right. Sometimes they're just as ugly as I don't know what. Love them back to life. Being mean and ugly, just push them away. Love them back to life and pray for them. Your position is to pray for them. You want them to change? Pray for them. You want them healed? Pray for them. You want them delivered? Pray for them. Quit putting your mouth on people. Yeah, we got to tell the truth now. Don't get, don't get me wrong. 
but love them back to life. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. Mm, let's get it. Day six, baby. Yeah. All right. Who going to roll with me to 40? All right. God bless y'all. <laughs> love you. Bye.